I wanted to ask, inshallah, like um, right now, if someone is in a um, like a situation where um, they're traveling and they had the intention to pray um, jama'ah, like duhr and nas, together two rakahs each, but then they thought the imam was going to do two rakahs, but they had the intention for two rakahs, and it turns out the imam uh, that was traveling as well uh, was, ex was praying four rakahs duhr. Is this acceptable uh, to have the two rakahs as naya uh, for traveling the uh, and then it ends up being four? Does he? Does, should I have made up those two rakahs separately, or is it acceptable, inshallah? Do you have another question? Um, that's it, inshallah. Sameh, you may stay on the line. There are two different cases. The first case is when I say Allahu Akbar, and I know that I'm praying behind a Musafir Imam, and I assume that he's going to shorten his prayer, but he ended up completing his prayer. Then aromatically, I shift to follow the Imam, and I pray the full prayers. And there is no expiation or surur sahu or anything. So if my intention was to pray two rakahs, but the Imam happened to be praying full, I shall follow the Imam, and I will not make the sleep before him. But if the Imam was local from the beginning, and I know that he is uh, praying full, I'm not allowed to intend to pray two rakahs, because I shall pray behind the Imam full, since he is praying full, and I know beforehand. So according to your narrative or question, it fits in the first category. I thought the Imam is going to pray two rakahs, and he ended up praying four. What am I supposed to do? Follow the Imam until he makes the sleep and your prayer is perfectly performed properly.